Horses are social species. They are prey animals and live in herds to protect themselves from predators. If one horse is separated from a herd for a prolonged period or is acutely separated from a horse with which it has a close bond, it may show signs of isolation stress. The need for the presence of other conspecifics in horses is most likely tied to the species evolution. Horse behavior has changed very little through domestication. The confinements that are used on domestic horses often isolate them and conflicts with their survival instincts. Horses kept confined and isolated feel threatened. As they are more vulnerable and have restricted sensory capability, preventing them from detecting potential dangers and preventing escape if a threat arises. During isolation, horses tend to become more active and spend less time eating. A horse experiencing isolation will display general signs of stress and anxiety. The head and tail will be held high, nostrils will be flared, the whites of their eyes may be visible, and the ears will often move back and forth rapidly. The horse will often vocalize at a loud volume to draw attention and relay its stressful state to other horses in audible range. In a study done by Mal and colleagues, upon release, isolated horses were more active than non-isolated horses. Anxious behavior from separation does not change greatly due to age or gender. Abnormal behaviors can be a result of isolation stress. Some horses, when isolated from conspecifics, can exhibit isolation-induced aggression. Separation of horses is linked with increased box walking, weaving, head tossing, and pawing. Pawing in particular is more severe in horses with barrier frustrations and is often done in an attempt to reach other horses. Other abnormal behaviors include self-mutilation, behavioral anorexia, pacing, and hyperactivity. Many methods have been used to treat isolation stress in horses. The use of a mirror by Kay and Hall during transport reduced time spent vocalizing, head tossing, pawing, and increased the time spent eating. A mirror likely imitates visual contact with conspecifics and may act as an environmental distraction. The best method to treat isolation stress is to allow the horse to at least maintain visual contact with conspecifics. When reunited with its herd, the horse may spend an extended period of time sniffing the members of its group. Its head and tail will be held at a medium height. Its nostrils, eyes, and ears will be relaxed. It is important to minimize the stress displayed by horses kept in isolation as the abnormal behaviors induced by stress are indicators for reduced welfare. The conditions for commercially kept horses are confining and constricting compared to a feral environment. Horses have a strong social need and are capable of forming close bonds, and merely allowing visual contact with other conspecifics will make interactions safer for both humans and horses, as well as increase their overall welfare.